Let's see how to solve a nice exponential equation. First, let's express each base as a prime factorization. So, a equals 2 cubed, 2 cubed to the power of x. The second, 3 cubed to the power of x. The bottom, 12 is 2 squared times 3, then to the power of x, plus 18 is 2 times 3 squared to the power of x equals 7 over 6. Now, the first term is 2 to the power of 3x. We can write as 2 to the power of x and then q. The second term, plus 3 to the power of x and then q. The bottom, we can distribute x to each factor. So the first one can be written as 2 to the power of x and then square times 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x and then 3 to the power of x and then square equals 7 over 6. To make the equation look simpler, let's do substitutions. The a equals 2 to the power of x, so a equals 2 to the power of x, b equals 3 to the power of x, so b equals 3 to the power of x. We know both of them are positive. So we get a new equation, a q plus b q over a squared times b plus a times b squared equals 7 over 6. Now we can factor the top by the sum of cubes formula, which is a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. The bottom, we can take the common factor a b out. So we get a plus b. Now we can cancel the common factor a plus b from top and bottom. And do the cross multiplying six times the top, seven times the bottom. So we get six times a squared. So we six a squared, six times a next a b so six a b and then plus six b squared seven times the bottom so we get seven a b now grab like terms so we get six a squared minus thirteen a b plus six b squared equals zero to factor the left side we need to break the middle term as two terms by finding two integers. P plus Q equals negative 13. P times Q equals 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 equals 36. What are the two numbers? Oh, we know. P equals negative 4. Q equals negative 9. So we get 6a squared minus 4ab minus 9ab plus 6b squared equals 0. For the first two terms, the common factor is 2a. So we get 3a minus 2b. For the second two terms, the common factor is negative 3b. So we get 3a minus 2b equals 0. So we get new common factor. So we take it out. So we get 3a minus 2b. So times 2a minus 3b equals 0. So we get two possibilities. The first one is 3a minus 2b equals 0. The second is 2a minus 3b equals 0. For the first one, so we get 3a equals 2b. Then both sides divided by 3b. So we get 3a divided by 3b equals 2b over 3b. Cancel 3, cancel b. So we get 
a over b equals 2 over 3. But we know a equals 2 to the power x, right? b, 3 to the power x. So we can write as 2 over 3 to the power x. The right side can be written as 2 over 3 to the power 1. Oh, same base, same exponent. So we get x equals 1. For the second case, so we get 2, 2a equals 3b. So both sides divided by 2b. So 2a over 2b equals 3b over 2b. Again, cancel 2, cancel b. So we get a over b equals 3 over 2. But we know from 1, that equals 2 over 3 to the power x. Now we can write 3 over 2 as 2 over 3 to the power negative 1. Oh, same base, same exponent again. So we get x equals negative 1. So we get two solutions, x equals 1 and x equals negative 1 to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.